Hi guys, welcome back to the Jake Blog channel and Premier League football is back um, after a very boring international break and Tottenham are back um, playing uh, eventually actually on a Saturday for the first time in a while um, and we are playing Manchester City and um, today is the start of a very hard um, run of games for Spurs because we have Man City tonight um, and then we have um, we have Liverpool, Chelsea, Wolves, Leicester, Arsenal uh, all coming up in um, uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, we have started the um, the season quite well in the, in the opening eight games. Um, I believe we are sitting around third, second. Um, of course, Chelsea did beat Newcastle very comfortably earlier on today. So we're still sitting near the top. Um, we have played eight games, only not for one, which of course, remember, was the first game of the season at home to Everton. Um, but and but the thing I've always said um, in the last few weeks is it, it's all well and good beating the teams that we should be beating, like the Burnleys, the Brightons, the Southamptons, etc. Um, but if you know if we want to challenge for the title, which I know a lot of people are already saying that Spurs could, um, then these are the games we should be getting at least draws against, um, if not getting all three points. So I'm gonna be optimistic. Um, but I don't want to be too overconfident, of course. We know what Man City can be like on their day. They can tear teams apart. Um, but Spurs, on the other hand, we can be very good on our day, um, as we have seen in some games this season. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a very good game. Team news is out in about 45 minutes. Um, so, yeah, I will see you in about, what well, I'll see you then when the teams are out. Come on, you Spurs. So, the teams are now out um, for Spurs. Pretty, pretty as expected, really. Um, I suppose the only real main talking point um, is Bergwijn does come into the starting eleven um, in uh, in replacement for Gareth Bale, um, who has moved onto the bench for today's game, um, and I think he can be a very good impact sub to bring on uh, if we do need a goal. Our bench is very good, but so is Manchester City's. They have Aguero, Phil Foden, and Raheem Sterling on their bench if needs be. So. I'm sure at least maybe two of them will come on um, in this game. Um, so their bench does scare me. Overall, their starting eleven um, isn't the best. Um, isn't the best we've seen um, for City. Of course, they've got Fernand Torres, who was on uh, doing bits on fire during the international break. Jesus, we know he can be very dangerous. And Rio Mahrez, who on his day he can be um, uh, on his day, he can be very skillful and a pain for defenders. So it's going to be a good game. I am quite nervous now. Um, uh, um, Jose's gone for uh, the same midfield he likes to go with, uh, with Sissoko, Endon Ballet, and Pierre Emil Hoybier, who has been fantastic so far this season. But only time will tell what will happen during today's game. Kickoff is in about 25 minutes or so. So I will see you then when or during the game. Come on, you Spurs! So it is now half time. Spurs one, Manchester City nil, and somehow I'm not too sure why or how. Um, I should say, um, Spurs started off quite well. Of course, we did get the goal out of nothing. Um, you know, totally against the runner play. It was a very early goal. What a ball by Tango and Dombele. This man has been superb so far this season. Um, and Hengman Son gets back within the goals. He 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 was on a little drought, a little uh, three four game drought, I think, before the international break. Um, but he did get the goal. Um, and what an important goal that was. Um, Kane did score a goal. Um, but it was um rightly uh, disallowed for offside. Um. But yeah, once again, you know, going forward, we do not have a problem. And defensively as well, I think we've been quite solid. Hoi Bier, once again, has been fantastic as well. Um, and of course, uh, probably a big speaking point of the first half is Manchester City's disallowed goal. Um, Manchester City must absolutely hate us by, um, by now um, of all this VAR stuff that's gone against them. For me, I do think it was a handball, um, but, you know, it, it was very close at the end of the day. Um, but for me, I thought it was a handball. I think I, I thought it was the correct decision, uh, and I'm not just saying that because it was first. So we got a little bit lucky. It was a good finish by um, by uh, America Port. Um, but yeah, so far, it's been a decent half. We can't really hold on to the ball too much. But at the end of the day, we are playing, um, you know, the best uh, passing team in the world and the best team uh, who can just hold on to the ball forever. 
Um, so it is going to be another long 45 minutes. Um, I think Spurs are going to need another goal because uh, who knows, we might be able to hold out for the next 45 minutes. Fingers crossed, we can do, of course, Hengmanson coming back, winning the goals. So I will see you after the game. Well, fingers crossed, I'm smiling and we've just beaten Manchester City. Come on, you Spurs. So there we go. It is now full time Tottenham Hotspur 2. Manchester City deal, just like how it was last year at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We have beaten City two goals to nil. Um, and in that second half, quite frankly, we were brilliant, if I'm being honest. Defensively, for the whole 90 minutes, we were superb. Harry Kane, man of the match, absolutely superb. Giovanni and Celso scoring after like 15 seconds. He was superb. Everyone on the pitch... Um, for me was brilliant today really really even Aurier I know I'm not the biggest fan of him but credit where credit's due um he came in and he did a job today another clean sheet and Spurs are top of the league once again things you love to see and as you can tell I am absolutely over the moon I can go to bed tonight and Tottenham will be top of the league. Hengmanson scores once again. And Giovanni Lo Celso gets his first ever Premier League goal for Spurs. Um, I will be live on my channel when this vlog is out. Um, or, or shortly after giving you my life, uh, life thoughts on that game. So I'm going to speak more about it in the live stream. So make sure you uh, head over there. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Come on you Spurs. Great win. Come on.